But we have a big problem in this country when it comes to our education system. So on the one hand, a lot of parents are worried about sending their kids to school because uh, schools and universities are so woke that they are brainwashing their kids. On the other hand, we've got situations with, uh, again, teachers and lecturers at university level who go on strike all the time. So kids don't really get the education that they deserve. And now things are escalating because there is a marking boycott where teachers and lecturers that they refuse to go back to work and they refuse to mark and grade uh, the exams of the, the students, which means that a lot of students are not going to get gra graduated from university despite being in thousands of pounds of debt and all the money that they'll be, go they'll be going to be giving to these universities. We have a video from Anna McGovern, who is a political commentator. She goes on GB News and Talk TV. She's also a student. This is what she had to say about her situation. So I've just found out that myself and over 150 students at Queen Mary University of London will not be graduating due to the marking boycott that the university held. So this means that some of our assessments have either been marked and they're refusing to publish the grades, or in some cases they've not been marked at all and they don't have enough information to tell us what we've achieved as our final result. So never mind the fact that some students were relying on those grades to enter certain industries, it's the fact that we students have been used as collateral damage for the university to engineer a scenario of what they want, with no support being made available to us. We were in thousands of pounds worth of debt for an education we've not received due to lockdowns and strikes and the university refusing to teach us, and now we have nothing to show for at the end of the day. This is absolutely criminal and they should not be allowed to get away with this. So not only we've created a, a country, an environment in, in our nation where thanks to big governments or successive governments, young people and, and everybody, obviously, we're, not, we're talking about young people in this video, uh, they, they're, they're receiving so many tax bills, the tax rate and tax burden is at its highest level in decades. Uh, they can't buy a house. That's just impossible. And now they can't even get a job. <laughs> so and, and they're going to be an average £40,000 in debt in, when it comes to universities, so maintenance, loans, and tuition fees, and everything else. And even if they do go to school and university, this is what they have to deal with. There have been so many studies, including this one, that reveal just how woke universities are in this country. We, we always thought over the last few years, this is just an American problem, and maybe a little bit in Canada. But no, no, it's, it's literally infecting the whole of the Western civilization. So, for example, Cambridge and Oxford came first and second in terms of being woke and, uh, and obviously spreading Marxist ideologies and everything else. So having introduced unconscious bias and race workshops for freshers, followed by uni the University of Bristol, which has outlawed words such as mankind to avoid causing offence to students and staff. <laughs> outlawed words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blasphemy laws. Brilliant. How was the research conducted? The research was conducted by Richard uh, Nori, a researcher at the Civitas. In total, the table ranks around 137 universities and was uh, compiled uh, based on their press coverage locally and nationally, as well as their promotional materials. They found that 62% had references to uh, TWs of some kind and, and with aims to alert students uh, to material that uh, they could uh, find distressing. In addition to that, 72 universities mentioned the term white privilege <laughs> and a further 59% of universities offered materials and all resources on anti-racism. Racism everywhere. Oh no. So <laughs> that's not the whole thing, by the way. There's been so many other issues there. So you got them there was a part of it's a series of proposals aimed at women, students, car owners, millennials, and low-income men. And uh, the conservative lord said that in order to appeal to a younger demographic, students could be uh, seen uh, taking national tests. Hmm, national tests, which to test tolerance of other viewpoints as well as lateral and critical thinking. Okay, cool. Translation. It is how it is to see how not offended you get by conservative statements. Alarmingly, he also said students could have uh, their debts paid off based on their ranking in such awards, both at the level of the university and nationally. And institutions could themselves have their funding increased or decreased based on how many prize winners they have as students or alumni. 
I mean, why not instead of all this, just completely go with traditional education system and allow real education to happen and critical thinking. You don't have to test them. You don't have to create. I mean, it's good to have performance based um, awards increase or decrease. I get that. But why not just go and create a new breed of teachers and lecturers? Why not try to actually make the education system attractive enough for people with real life experiences to become teachers? You know, someone who has an experience in engineering could actually teach about engineering. Someone who actually is a historian could teach history. Right now, we've got kids who are 22, 23. They just become teachers because they've got nothing else to do. And they say, well, my mom was a teacher, so I'm going to become a teacher. And they just go through a basic training. They don't have any, any idea about geography. They become a teacher for geography. And they have to learn the lessons the night before they're teaching the lessons to kids. So they don't even know. So they have to brief themselves the night before and then they go to school they go to the class and teach it to kids and that's why no one knows exactly who's teaching what and what they're teaching it's bad it's completely a collectivism collectiv a collectivized the whole system because those who write these methods and guidances and everything else have their own agenda and it's always it, 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 problematic let's just say if the system is refused to get reformed that's the problem with our um, current structure anyway thank you so much for watching the channel make sure to subscribe i'm maya tusi and we are the media